This weekend, Kansas City recorded its 97th murder of the year, almost all of them shootings. Tonight, Garrett Haig shows us why some of those murders can be so hard to solve when the weapons are all but invisible. The way he was gunned down and just left in the parking lot at research, he was definitely not deserved to be killed like that. When 21-year-old Darian Pryor was gunned down last fall, his mother says police told her they had little evidence in their investigation, even after recovering the murder weapon. No one has told me why he was murdered. No one has told me anything. Police records show the gun that killed Pryor was stolen, a crime the ATF says is underreported, dangerous, and can make a weapon used in a crime nearly impossible to track. A federal report released this summer counts 190,000 guns reported lost or stolen last year, including 4,600 in Missouri and 1,800 in Kansas. The gun police recovered in Pryor's case, a Ruger pistol like this one, still had its serial number, which criminals often sand off because a gun without one becomes all but untraceable. At Center Fire Shooting Sports in Olathe, employees tell customers to keep good records in case their weapon is stolen. Write down make, model, and serial number especially, and keep it somewhere fairly safe. And if you don't have the serial number, um, you're not really providing any helpful information other than what it looks like. Leaving families like the Priors still waiting for a breakthrough. All I do is pray, and I always say what you do in the dark shall come to the light. I feel the truth is going to come out. I don't know when. Garrett Hake, 41 Action News.